Hello everybody. Um, just giving you all a little update. I'm feeling lots better. Uh, and I wanted to show Kat, walk it out, something. I, I told her on Facebook, she was thinking about making steampunk little steampunk hats. And I told her on, oh, look at my nails. They're black with orange stripes, and... orange and black stripes. I got bored. Anyway, um, I told her how to make steampunk goggles for little miniature top hats. Stupid train. Anyway, uh, so I did just that. I took two soda bottle tops and I cut out the holes in the middle. And I wrapped them with some um, copper foil tape that I have. I haven't put them together in, in, in goggle form yet, but that would be what they would... Well, actually, they'd sit kind of like... Maybe like that, far apart. But um, in case you're wondering why they look cloudy, it's because I used a green bottle for this part, right? But it wasn't quite the green I wanted, so I painted it with glue mixed with um, coloring, which is what I did for the patina. Which, you only see the lines and stuff from the tape when you get like right up close. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to glue a string between the two of them for the nose part, and then glue like a strap around them and make my own little top hat. But yeah, you can still see where some of the glue is drying in this one, especially like right here. It's not on the outside, it's on the inside, it's down there. But yeah, you literally just mix colorant with glue, and it'll just leave the colorant behind. But anyway. So I thought that came out pretty cool. I mean, you're probably doing better than I did. Somebody can. I know they can. So... It was just an idea I had for little mini steampunk goggles. And I think they look, you know, I'm going to add stuff to them. I might add some, like, brads and stuff to make them look more, you know. But, yeah. That's it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.